Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. I'm very excited today to be able to show you how you can now borrow money, effectively creating loans, all from the comfort of your hardware wallet using your Ethereum as collateral. So this is all done with the Maker team and their new system. They've been working very hard behind the scenes. Yesterday they announced this new portal for single collateral positions where you can borrow DAI stablecoin. Now previously this was possible, maybe the more tech savvy among you have already created a loan as we can see here, but you had to wrap your Ethereum to put it into that ERC20 format, pull your Ethereum to put it into that big pool of funds that backs all these loans up, and lots of toggles here. So I'm not gonna worry too much about all that. Let's show you how this works for this nice new easy interface. Now, if you wanna log in, you can do that with your hardware wallet. Just make sure you've got browser support and contract support enabled so we can interact with the website and the Ethereum blockchain. But today, I'm just gonna log in with my MetaMask wallet. And if you don't know what MetaMask is, it's just an Ethereum wallet that's embedded in our browser. So once I click on that, it's gonna take me to the home screen where I can open up a collateralized debt position. So what is a collateralized debt position? Why would one wanna borrow money if they need Ethereum backing it up? Well, maybe you don't wanna sell and that would initiate a taxable event. Or maybe you wanna borrow some money but the bank won't recognize your cryptocurrency as an asset. So now you can do this all from the comfort of your hardware wallet. Generate that DAI stablecoin which is now yours once you've created that position and the Ethereum is locked in a smart contract until you pay that loan off in the future or if Ethereum goes up in value, that dollar amount pays the loan off automatically, I guess you can think of it as as well. So I can send that DAI out to an exchange to buy more crypto. I can sell it on an exchange to get fiat if I need more money in my bank, but that Ethereum stays locked in the smart contract until I pay the loan off or until the uh, price of Ethereum goes down and liquidates me. So I'm gonna explain how that works and what the catches are here as well. So over on this interface, we've got Ethereum in my wallet. Currently, I don't have any DAI or Maker coins in this wallet. We've got the price of Ethereum, the pooled ETH to ETH ratio, and I don't really want to explain how this works. It is a little bit technical, but you, all you need to know is that there is a bit of an incentive to make sure that there's always funds to back up all these loans. We see the DAI stablecoin being pegged nicely to one US dollar, and the price of Maker that's not gonna affect anything we're doing today. The final number that I wanna show you that's really interesting is this collateralization ratio. So here we see the maximum amount of DAI that's currently available is $67 million. But for all the loans that are outstanding, we have a 273% ratio. They're over collateralized. Now this is very different to a bank. Imagine if they were this transparent. That number for a bank might be closer to 10% where they have that fraction of assets and they lend out against us. So we know with you know 100% confidence that the smart contracts and the Ethereum blockchain are telling us that all these loans are over collateralized. The system you know, is in no danger of being insolvent. Okay, so let's click on five dollars that we want to borrow now this is the same process if you want to borrow five thousand or five million dollars and that's going to tell me that i need to have a minimum ratio of 150 percent to back up whatever money that i want to borrow against so in this instance i would need seven dollars fifty for example now the system doesn't have a dollar amount here but it does have a little ethereum amount so it's going to tell you that that's the minimum f required to create this loan now I'm gonna put slightly more than that. Let's type in 0.05. And that's gonna tell me that yes, you're above the 150% at 196%, but you're also in danger of that CPD getting liquidated. So if the Ethereum price drops to $150, the system would say, oh, you're getting a bit close, we're gonna liquidate and close this loan. So in that instance, I've already borrowed the money, that might be you know, into another coin or money in my bank at this stage. So they can't do anything about the money you've borrowed, but that Ethereum in the smart contract, that's gonna get liquidated. Now, out of that comes the loan amount that you borrowed and a 13% fee, and then you get the remainder. So out of a $100 loan um, that would have $150 backing it up at point of liquidation, you'd end up getting about $37 back 
Um, so you've got that $100 you initially borrowed, that $37. The total process has seen you walk away with $137 out of the $150 of Ethereum that you lost. So it really is just a 13% uh, sort of um, penalty there, I guess, guys. Okay, so next up, let's say that we want to put this a little bit higher to give us a bit of wiggle room. So let's go 0 0.09, and that's going to tell me that, yeah, that's a lot better. 350% Ethereum would have to go to $83 before this position gets closed and liquidated. Now, if things don't go your way and this is going against you, there's a couple of ways that you can make this loan safer. So you can buy some DAI from an exchange and pay down the loan amount that you've borrowed. And that really um, is the best way to do it rather than putting more Ethereum into the contract to increase your collateral. The mathematics behind all this, guys, again, I won't go into this. If you can pay down that loan, that really is the best way to you know, work in your favor or close the position altogether. So if we're happy with that amount, let's borrow $5. We've got that ratio there. I'm just going to click on Collateralize and Generate Die. Now, this is going to perform seven steps in the background once I've agreed to these terms. So as I said now, the new proxy contract that they've created is doing all this complicated stuff in the background, creating my position, wrapping my Ethereum, converting it from the wrapped Ethereum to the pooled Ethereum for all those funds. And then it's going to generate my DAI stablecoin and send it to my wallet address. So if I'm happy with all that, I'm going to click on finalize and create this position. And that's just going to wait for me to sign the transaction and either approve it on my hardware wallet or click on approve on MetaMask. Confirm transaction. And now that's just going to go to the blockchain, guys. Okay, so once we've clicked on that, guys, it is a computationally intensive process. So this has got a lot of those transactions to do going on in the background. So we click on View Transaction. This is going to bring up Etherscan, and it's going to give us an estimated time. So it's going to take around um, nine minutes to create this position because there is a lot going on in the background. And so there we go, guys. That has completed. That took around three or four minutes to do. Let's head back over to the portal. Okay, guys, so that has completed and it's going to take us to this screen showing our CPD. So we can now deposit more Ethereum or withdraw Ethereum from our ETH collateral or we can pay back that DAI that we initially borrowed to close the loan or pay it down or we can generate more DAI if the position, if Ethereum price goes up and we want to borrow more money, we can generate more in our loan. So this is now how you can tinker with your loan, have a play around with this, guys. It is very cool stuff, very exciting for me to see all this technology finally come together. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.